Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best dual dash cam. Starting at number 5. 70 My Dash Cam. There's no dash cam quite like the 70 My Omni. It's a single camera with a 140 degree field of view and a trick up its sleeve. It can rotate to provide full 360 degree coverage from its position on the windshield. That means you can record your journeys out the front like any other dash cam, or turn it to film inside the cabin of your vehicle. Video resolution tops out at 1080p up to 60 frames per second, so footage isn't the most detailed, but we were impressed by the low light performance of the f 1.8 lens in testing. In our review, we found the Omni well designed with a user friendly experience, complete with fun graphics and animations on the display when you interact with it. It also benefits from AI-powered surveillance features to keep your vehicle safe, such as motion detection and threat level processing. As far as single dash cams go, this is one of the most fun to use, plus the list price is reasonable though you'll need to buy the 4G hardware kit if you want to back up to the cloud automatically. Coming at number 4. Vantrue N2 Pro. Relatively compact for a dual-lens dash cam, the Vantrue N2 Pro records a detailed view of the road ahead and your vehicle's interior. Designed with taxi drivers in mind, it forgoes many of the extras which your car is already likely to have, including speed camera alerts and collision warnings. That simplicity extends to its connectivity, a factor we liked in testing. With no Wi-Fi, Bluetooth or smartphone app, it's a self-contained dash cam that gets on with the job of capturing events. The only feature we did miss was GPS tracking, although Ventru sells an optional GPS windscreen mount. We were happily surprised by the video quality our review. The cameras can record full HD footage in both directions, capturing video that's smooth, sharp and clear, matched by decent audio. The interior camera occasionally struggles in bright sunlight, but that's a small criticism of otherwise impressive performance. The front camera can also go solo to shoot in even more detailed 1440p. At number 3. Maya 5 Dual Dash. An update to the already excellent Maya 5 4K dash cam, the Dual Edition adds a 2K rear camera. The front camera is a proven performer, capturing sharp detail both night and day during our tests. Its design remains as slim and modern as with the single cam option, although we wish it used a suction cup instead of sticky adhesive. Joining it is a tiny rear camera that records 2K video at 30 frames per second. Like the forward unit, it covers a 140-degree field of view. That's enough for the view front and rear, but rivals offer wider angles. With a generous 128 gigabytes of internal storage, you get twice as much capacity as the previous Maya 5 4K, with space for around 8 hours of record time before loop recording will start to overwrite the oldest clips. We were impressed by the slick Maya 5 app, as well as the camera's generous feature set, you get built-in GPS, collision warnings, and super capacitor power. Even with these capabilities, setup remains straightforward, although you might need to be creative about hiding the longer, thicker rear camera cable. Overall, if you need dual cam coverage, we think there's plenty of value here. Number 2 of my list. Thinkware X1000. Capable yet accessible, Thinkware's X1000 comes bundled with everything you need to record front and rear. Our tests found a lot to like about the X1000. Installation does require the use of several sticky pads and we felt that the user guide could have been more comprehensive in helping to navigate setup. You'll also need to hardwire it to unlock the full set of features, including parking surveillance, while GPS and radar detection require optional accessories. Still, once in place, the unit feels nicely put together. Its best attribute is its ease of use, with a large 3.5-inch touchscreen and icon-based interface, it's simple to configure and there's no need to rely on a smartphone partner app. Capture settings can be tweaked via the touchscreen, but we found that it worked well right out of the box. Results from both cameras were impressive, with plenty of crisp detail and decent dynamic range even in dim and dark conditions. If you're looking for a stress-free and reliable dash cam, the X1000 gets plenty right. 
And number one. Vantru E1. Neat and relatively compact, the Vantru E1 is an attractive dash cam that's capable of recording 2.5K video at 30 frames per second. It can also record full HD footage at a smoother 60 frames per second, for enhanced detail while you drive. Results in our review proved sharp night and day, with accurate colors and acceptable noise in low light. Our testing also revealed that the optional polarizing filter usefully reduces dashboard reflections, while the 160-degree angle captures a wide view of what's ahead. We found that the E1's magnetic mount works well, but the lack of sideways adjustment does limit its use if you can't fit it centrally. A tiny 1.54-inch screen offers a preview when installing, but the smartphone app is the more useful way to tweak settings. You don't get the driver assistance systems of other dash cams, so it's up to you or your vehicle to spot speed cameras and potential collisions. That said, you still get Wi-Fi and GPS connectivity, and we like that Vantru has focused on video quality over unnecessary extras. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.